Hello, Mrs. Little in class. I hope you're all having a great day. We're going to go over the answers for um, numbers 49 through 56 of the ACT English Multiple Choice Practice today. The first one, number 49, is contained in the sentence that starts with, Through my parents, whom were still in touch with Joan's father, I learned that Joan was currently living in Fairbanks. I hope that you noticed that number 49 needed to be changed. Um, whom were still in touch does not make sense because whom is in the objective case and we need a subjective case pronoun to be the subject of the verb were. So please change, if you've not already done so, number 49 to the answer B, who, through my parents, who were still in touch with Joan's father. Number 50, I learned that Joan was currently living in Fairbanks is correct. So F, no change. Number 51 involves the little square box. Which of the following sequences of sentences makes paragraph 3 most logical? Is it A, no change, B, 1, 3, 2, C, 2, 1, 3, D, 3, 2, 1. For this one, you had to go back to um, the last ACT warm-up that we did to see sentences uh, 1 and 2. And after you did that, I'm sure that you knew, noticed that the answer should be B, 1, 3, 2. Number 52, the correct answer. I parked my rental car in downtown Fairbanks, and to keep the battery from freezing, I plugged the engine into an electrical outlet in the parking lot so the battery would stay warm. Should be J. Delete the underlined portion and end the sentence with a period. Because again, you have already given that information in the earlier part that said to keep the battery from freezing. The sentence that begins there, it was 20 below, zero that afternoon, and the sky shone with a pale gray light. Number 53 asks you which of the following alternatives to the underlined portion would not be acceptable. And the correct answer, of course, is D. Shown is not correct. The sky A was glowing is okay. B, the sky glowed is okay. C, the sky shined was okay. But D is incorrect because there is no word shown. Number 54, if the writer were to delete the preceding, which means the one that comes before sentence, the essay would primarily lose H, descriptive details that help set the scene of the narrator's meeting with Joan. 55, as we walked upstairs to her studio, we slipped into our familiar habits, talking about the people in our lives and our work. All right, you don't fell upon familiar habits or dropped by familiar habits or returned with familiar habits. So our correct answer is A, no change. We just talked as easily as we had in the past when we would sit in the field behind Joan's house atop the rabbit hutch and discuss our friends and our hopes for the future. Correct answer is H. We would sit atop the rabbit hutch in the field behind Joan's house. And we do that because we want to keep um, as much stuff to make sense together. So we would sit on top of the hutch in the field behind Joan's house. All right, so to recap, 49 is B, 50 F, 51 B, 52 J, 53 D, 54 H, 55 A, and 56 H. I hope you guys have a great day and good luck on your word right quiz.